Over the past 48 hours, Tamworth has had a spike in crime. More than 20 break-ins have been reported, among those four businesses in Tamworth's CBD. Last night, a house on Cypress Street was set upon by thieves who then stole the resident's car. This morning, it was found on fire in Northcott Close. Fifteen vehicles have been reported stolen since Friday. I believe that there is a group of young people, mainly, who were involved in the theft of these motor vehicles and they are attempting to engage the police in pursuits which not only provides danger to themselves but other members of the community. A collaborative research network for mental health was launched at the University of New England today. The network will investigate and implement strategies to improve the quality of mental health facilities in regional areas. The University of New England has its sights set on tackling mental health in regional areas. Alongside five other universities, it's working to improve mental health services in smaller communities over the next two years. It's working together to try and build capability here at the University of New England in mental health research and particularly in areas of support to, to help people who do have, suffer from mental illness. Today, Acting Vice-Chancellor Annabel Duncan announced the network will have three main focuses. Focuses, suicide prevention, helping those who are marginalised and biomedical health. We would hope that we would be able to have programs out there and support structures in place by the time this program, the first part of this program is over in two and a half years. Parliamentary Secretary for Higher Education and Skills Sharon Bird says there's no doubt that people in rural areas are more vulnerable to mental health issues. She's glad to see the research being done at a university that is well connected to regional communities. We want to see that people who come from those areas are able to get access to the sorts of expertise and services that can address that problem and that's exactly what this great team of researchers coming together is all about. The federal government will contribute $4.8 million towards the research. Vivian Von Drainen, NBN News. Rural landowners are set to be the hardest hit by a rate increase announced by Tamworth Regional Council today. The Independent Pricing and Regulatory Tribunal has approved Council's application for a special rate variation of 11%. From July 1, farm landowners will be forced to pay an additional $217 on the council's latest rate rise. Council originally applied for a 17% increase to address a backlog in Capital Works projects. However, IPART approved an 11% rise with concerns some residents would be disadvantaged. Regardless, council is happy with the boost. We spent specifically on the maintenance and renewal of our transport infrastructure, our building infrastructure and our swimming pool infrastructure as well as our parks and gardens. Council's acting mayor, Russell Webb, hopes spending money now will lead to savings in the future. It's a bit like painting your house. If you don't paint your house and maintain your house and you leave it gay for 20 years, it's going to cost you an awful lot of money when you do go to fix it. That's something that we don't want to do with our roads. While rural landowners will be feeling the pinch, the average Tamworth resident can expect to pay between 99 cents and $2.50 extra per week. And that's caused a mixed reaction among locals. I think we pay enough in rates as it is at the moment um, and what extra benefits are we going to get out of the extra rates that we're going to pay? Oh, I think that's fair enough because I think Council does give us good services and I know it does cost extra to provide these services, so I'm reasonably happy about it. Sally Rafferty, NBN News. Plans for further development at the Peel River Estate in Kalala have gone on show today. Locals are being encouraged to have their say on the project, which will see an extra 104 lots made available to meet housing needs. Tamworth Regional Council expects traffic to be the biggest concern for residents. I think the community is really closely looking at how the subdivision deals with uh, traffic from the subdivision, uh, how that affects the local streets. Um, particularly Gordon Street and Campbell Road at Kalala. A separate application for a link road to connect Kalala to the city is hoped to deal with these traffic worries. However, plans for that development are still in the works following local environmental concerns. Students from 45 schools across the state have been given a helping hand ahead of this year's HSC. Three days of exam preparation workshops and activities started in Armidale today. 
In the last few months of preparation before the HSC, every study session counts. And this week, over 800 students are gathering in Armadale to gain as much insight into their final exams as possible. We like to think it's a more community engagement event. We like to help out the, um, our role as a university is to make sure that we can keep getting kids into science careers and science degrees. The Booster Days take a hands-on approach to preparation and review a wide variety of subjects, including science, maths, business and law. Schools that don't have big lab facilities perhaps don't have teachers that are um, specifically trained in those areas as well. Um, they get the opportunity to come on and speak to experts in the field. Ms Cosby says it also encourages students to come to the New England to further their studies. They might have a perception that it's not um, where they'd like to be and they come here, they meet the people, they see the facilities, so we definitely feel that students coming on campus here are more likely to come and study at UNE. And as far as these students are concerned, it's a trip worthwhile. I just thought it was a really good opportunity to see the university, see what it's like to do stuff in the university labs as opposed to like a high school lab. Just basically to get like a solid revision coming up to the HSC and just see where I'm at and get a bit extra information. Vivian Von Drainen and BN News.